here is excited to get funny! I'm kidding, you guys are already funny, I swear, I swear, I love you. The first thing we gotta talk about today is... Comedy is anything TVH. With social media nowadays, there's so many tweets that are hilarious. Is that comedy? The collective of chats, you guys are all very fun. Are you doing comedy when you comment? Like, in a way, so many things can be comedy. If you really think about it, the difference between comedy and being funny is that comedy has sort of a structure. And being funny is uh, just a part of uh, daily interactions. So, in your daily life, you're gonna be funny, you're gonna basically be doing comedy. And then once you put it up on a stage, or if you put it as a YouTube video, that's, that's comedy. It's just, it's having a limiter. So the reason why I want to talk about comedy today is not as much because I want to make all of you guys the, the next greatest comedian in America, but because comedy gives you rules on how to fix your uh, social awkwardness. So what do you do? You're like, okay, thanks, Abby. I want to do comedy. Now, like... How do I write a stand-up set? Here's how you start. You have to get... Drum roll, please. Ideas. Okay, we can totally hit her while she's in class in here. So it could be like a skit about like a, a, a clown who... Like a, is, a, is a student by day and a clown by night. But even when he's at work, like he can still get pied. It could be something like that. Just by looking at the comment section of a random VTuber that you were watching the other day. You already have an idea. So once you realize like, oh, I, I have ideas. Literally, I can steal ideas from like some rando at the park. How do we start writing it? It's so easy. You have to not be funny. The least funny thing that you can do is try to be funny at the beginning. The way you start writing is you start creating the world. So you make a world that is not funny because someone trying to be funny all the time is exhausting. I'm gonna say I am of the school to think that I would rather you tell a joke that's risky and then explain your joke rather than I'm so sorry. I hate it when people repeat memes. I love you guys, but she can get to my nerves. The only way you're gonna get funny is by taking leaps. If you're relying on the thing that you know is gonna get a laugh, then you're not gonna get funnier. This is the one thing that I would advise and that's what I struggled with. You don't want to get too many weird things. It could get too wacky. Not even drama, it just becomes wacky. It becomes wacky land. Everything you say is so weird and zany all the time. Oh, wow, look how quirky this is. I honestly feel like even if you have too many wacky things, if you're having fun, no one cares. I would rather see a skit that's like, okay, guy tries to get his girlfriend back. Turns out his girlfriend is a vampire. Ah. And turns out she's really hungry for his blood. And turns out that his sister is a werewolf. Like, I would rather see that. If you're, if you're having fun with it, I'm gonna laugh. When I first watched this show, I hated it. Because I was a normie cringe joke. <laughs> it can be almost off-putting. But I think they're really smart about how they do comedy. It's what we talked about at first. Like, you're gonna feel cringe, you're gonna feel horrible, you're gonna feel unfunny, people are gonna call you unfunny. As long as you're having fun, man, some people are gonna find you genius and you might might reshape the structure of comedy. That's how I feel about this show. So you can think of three beats. It's like, how do you heighten? The question that a lot of improv schools use is, if this, then what? So if you're the kind of person who would eat the whole brownie pan because you're scared that they'll know it's you who ate the two brownies, what else would you do to hide it? You know what I mean? Like, how far would you go and go there? Killing is always the funny. Like, I love it. I think it's one of the best things. Like, if you don't know how to end, just, like, kill off someone. I, I think it works every time. I'm gonna be honest. Because it's the most absurd thing that you could do is doing things that would get you in jail. Like, what else would you do to hide the brownie? Comedy is like kind of dying on YouTube. Like, uh, stand up is huge, but sketch, sketch comedy is not so big on YouTube right now. No, laugh track, I'd rather die. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you kind of need real laughs. No, man, I can't press a button. It's so tra. Because sometimes people won't laugh. And I feel like part of a good stand up comic is like, you know how to play with the audience and like address when they don't laugh. Like, oh, you guys don't like this well. You know what I mean? Uh, you, if you're just pressing the button, just pretending like they like everything, it's so cringe. Mom's alive! I thought she was dead. I didn't know. I thought you were dead. So we were talking about buttons before, which is the hardest way to end a skit. It's like, what is the last line? This ending is so good. This kind of skit is like a film, basically. So it doesn't really get funny until like over a minute and a half into it. And I don't mind it. I, I get that they're setting up for something and it pays off. They're building up tension, 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 and then... Psh, 